What's up bafflers? James Ruff here. Today we're going to look at the Aurea wireless thermometer. So let's have a look. Wow it is so hot today like it is really hot today. Um, I'm pretty much melting at the moment as you can see. So it comes in a very slim package. Wow. And yeah that is tiny. I wasn't expecting this to be massive but this is really small. So it's called a smart hygrometer and it features a temperature and humidity sensor plus it works via a free app to download the app you scan the QR code so you can get it on either the Apple App Store or on Google Play Store and then open it up okay so inside the box we have a box and also the instructions sensor blue keychain hygrometer user guide which is actually all in English and it includes some nice picture guides as well so pretty cool okay and there is the device so let's go ahead and take it out of its little cardboard package and there we have it look how small this is I mean I know you can't really tell but these are my hands <laughs> my hands look massive in comparison to this this is tiny so it has a nice little hook right here so this works completely wirelessly so it takes a CR2032 battery and it looks like by this label it has one included which is nice because I didn't actually have one so let's go ahead and pull this tag out and once you do that it's ready to go so I don't think there's any buttons let's get my phone okay so go ahead and scan the QR code and then it will take us to the sensor blue app go ahead and install that okay so it also gives you the QR codes in the user manual okay so once it's installed it says turn on the app and make sure the Bluetooth of the app is turned on take off the battery sleeves then the sensor starts to work tap the add device or plus to add the hygrometer the app is going to pair the device after you press the button on the product it will connect automatically okay so once the app is installed yay so let's go ahead and open it allow Firma Plus to access photos apologies it's really difficult to get this in frame what I'm going to do is actually zoom out a bit here we go okay I'll just turn off the ring light so you can see my phone screen and then go ahead make sure my Bluetooth is actually switched on it is and then go ahead and press add device so I've, I've already taken the tag out of my device right here so hopefully it should pick it up press the button on the thermometer once is there actually a button okay I don't think this one has a button so it says here some models don't have a button for those models please tap pair by device name so we'll go ahead and press that and then thermo beacon which is this one right here and we're set up you've successfully activated your device go ahead and press done and there we have it we have the device working right now there's a little bit of a refresh going on and there we have it it's tracking the temperature this tiny little device is tracking the temperature in this room and as you can see it's pretty hot in here it's about 29 degrees this is inside bear in mind so yeah I'm pretty much roasting at this moment I'm not used to pretty much anything above 20 degrees so yeah filming in 29 degree weather is not that great but oh well so we have the temperature 29.06 degrees wow it's very accurate and then 51.8 percent uh, humidity so it gives us like a time down here of the past temperatures as well and that's pretty much it you can change it from celsius to fahrenheit if you prefer fahrenheit then we can change it over and as you can see it's 84 degrees fahrenheit so here are the language options right here and you can add feedback if you have any problems and then about and then down here you have the history once you've used it for a little bit longer and there we have it you can take a picture of the device which is quite handy say if you have lots of these devices what you can do you could probably get like a little label and then write number one or a b c or whatever and you can actually identify the device so what i'm going to do is take a picture so i've taken my picture press ok mm. A few minutes.
minutes later. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. Leave that for now. Okay, so on the app right here, you've got the temperature, the humidity, you've got the past temperatures with the time, and also the dew point and heat index. For even more information, just go ahead and press the little banner right here, and you can actually add a few more details. You can add desired temperature, desired humidity. I guess it will alert you if it's outside the desired temperature. So say you wanted to have a very specific temperature in your room, you can go ahead and set that. As it's a bit hot at the moment, I'm going to set my desired temperature to 25 highest. So you've got some details right here about the signal. So you can see if it's picking up correctly and also the battery life of the little CR32 battery that's inside the device. So say if you've got multiple sensors, what you can do is set up name and locations and press OK. So go ahead and tick that and go back. So as you can see, Fred is located in the Baffle Studio. So say if you've got modelled up between your different sensors, if you don't know who Fred is, maybe you've got mixed up with Fred and Bob, what you can do is press find it. So if you press find it, what it will do, it will actually light up inside. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, just about. It's a little red light on the inside, so you can see which thermometer it is. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to try this out in a greenhouse. So what I'm going to do is actually rename this from Fred to plants, press OK. And then location, I'm going to add a new location called greenhouse, press OK, tick greenhouse. And there we go. So the name is plants and the location is greenhouse. What I'm going to do is go outside in the garden and place this in the greenhouse. One hour later. Now that the Aurea wireless thermometer has been outside for a bit, we now have some information on the app. If you tap on the temperatures, you get a bit more information on a graph. You get the temperature trend, which shows you the temperature over time, and the temperature distribution, which shows you how long it's been a certain temperature. On the temperature trend graph, you can actually drag it along so you can see throughout the day how much temperature or humidity has occurred. On the humidity tab, you get a humidity trend, which like the temperature shows it over time. So you can see how much percent humidity and the distribution this time for humidity. So if I set the desired temperature to 35 highest and 10 degrees for the lowest, and then for desired humidity, 100 for the highest and then 50 for the lowest. This should be ideal for my plants. So when we go back, it should show whether or not it's too hot and whether the humidity is too low. As you can see, the temperature is ideal, yet the humidity is actually a bit low. So the plants need to have a bit more water. It's worth mentioning when the humidity is really high, it will actually give you a mold warning. Again, I'm trying to upload a photo but it's just not liking it. I don't know what's happening, but it's not liking uploading a photo, which is a bit inconvenient. So in general, a very nice and easy to access app. What's the most important thing is that it accurately does check the temperature because I've checked it against my traditional thermometer. The best thing about the app is that you can see both the temperature and humidity over time, and you can compare it over various days by using the history. Thanks for watching. This little sensor is absolutely brilliant. It works really well and it's very easy to use. It's great having the functionality of the temperature going directly to your phone so you don't have to go and check the thermometer like a traditional one. You can go and get it up on your phone and you can get lots of insightful information. The only downside I would say to this is the fact that it takes a CR2032 battery, which is replaceable, but it can be a benefit if you want to use it in something like a greenhouse where you don't have an available power source. It's also worth noting that the manufacturer states that it works for 100 days estimate, so the battery actually lasts quite a long time. All in all, I give the Aurea temperature sensor a baffle rating of four bees.
You can buy this on Amazon. Check the baffle links in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you want any more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. Don't forget to follow me at Baffle Channel. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.